In this video, we will look at how you can use Raface Environment Manager to have developers and other users create self-service environments on Microsoft's Azure. We will look at two types of developers for this self-service experience. Let us first start with a Git Savvy developer. The developer would go make the changes in the Git repo, which would then be picked up by the RAFI controller, which would then go and provision uh, the environment in Azure, which in this case is a resource group with a VNet and an AKS cluster with a cluster blueprint. And uh, then RAFI's environment manager would go talk to Argo CD and go deploy an application in this environment. All this will be up and running in a few seconds. Um, once the user commits uh, the changes to the Git repo. Let us look at what kind of resource templates exist. As you can see here, there's a resource template which uh, would build the environment from a certain uh, folder in the, in, the, in the Git repo. And there's a, there's a resource template for an AKS cluster and uh, uh, there is a resource template for everything else uh, that will get provisioned um, in, into the cluster. And uh, in this case, the user would have to go make changes in the Git repo, specifying the name and other details of the environment in a YAML file. And uh, once the user commits those changes to the Git repo, they would be picked up through a Git triggered workflow uh, to create the environment. Let us now look at what that looks like for this developer. Now let us look at the environment that was just created through the git triggered workflow. Um, once the user uh, uh, navigates to the environment and they click on uh, uh, publish or create the environment, it would land up uh, triggering the whole workflow of um, um, creating the environment end to end. Once the environment has been successfully created, uh, in this case, the developer in a self-service manner can come in and always look at the environment and also destroy it, which would tear down all the infrastructure and bring it back to a clean state. Now let's look at what the experience is like for a ClickOps friendly developer kind of a user. In this case, the user would uh, do everything in the self-service in a self-service manner through the the, the console in in Rafe. and they would go make the change and uh, and create the environment which would uh, uh, trigger environment manager to go create the resources in in uh, Azure and then which would automatically then go and create the application in on you know, the AKS cluster that was provisioned uh, using environment manager uh, in this case, as you can see here, the user can override a few uh, variables that are allowed. Specifically, in this case, uh, they are allowed to go make changes to some input variables uh, to customize and personalize the environment. And uh, once they save it and hit go, uh, that input will be used to go and provision the environment with that particular input.